Everybody, welcome to Common Sense Urology, where I go over common urological problems and offer a sensible approach to them. Today I'm not going to go over a specific topic, but instead I'm going to show you how a prostate biopsy is done in gantry with MRI using a robot. I'm Dr. Neil Gordon, and if you like what you hear and see, please give a thumbs up and consider subscribing. Don't forget to click on the notification bell down below to hear many more episodes to come. The patient is positioned face down with the probe in the rectum. The robot is seen here sitting beside the laptop which controls it on the stand. This is the robot which is made of plastic and controlled by compressed air to allow it to be in the MRI. These are the connections for the compressed air tubing which moves the robot and this is kept outside the MRI room. They are connected to this control box of the compressor. The diagnostic MRI is retrieved and inserted into the robot software. A sagittal scan is carried out and dragged to the computer image. The probe can be calibrated by clicking on the MRI image of the probe. The calibration is locked by clicking on the button at the bottom right hand screen. The plus minus buttons are just in out of the probe. A transverse or axial scan is carried out and drag to the screen. By clicking on the rotation point, this angle can be then adjusted. The patient returns the four screen viewer. The trans scan is dragged to the top left screen, scrolled through and the target clicked upon. The screen is clicked, the target confirmed. Orange is where the computer thinks the probe is, blue is where you want it to be and that has to be aligned. The target is locked and the intervention tab appears. Move robot is clicked and are you sure click yes. This shows how the robot moves into position. Once the robot has stopped moving, a new transverse scan is carried out and dragged into position. Switch to full screen and the yellow shows the throw of the needle, the red, the actual biopsy sample. Manual adjustment can be made in the top left working window. Accurate biopsies can then be taken in this position. Thank you for watching this short presentation on the remote controlled manipulator from Soteria Medical. This was originally presented at the 14th Urological Association of Asia Congress in Singapore in 2016. I'd particularly like to thank Jan Sabic and Gerrit Tigala for assistance in making this presentation. Soteria is not a sponsor of this video, however if you would like to find out more about them, have a look at the website listed below. If you've enjoyed this presentation, please consider giving a thumbs up. Also consider subscribing, but don't forget to click on the notification bell down below to hear of many more episodes to come. Cheerio!